Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a reading of runes. I was pulling them the other day before I made my new moon in Pisces and wow, they both went so uh, hand in hand that I thought, okay, I've got to upload this. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, tap the button, hit the bell, and please hit like, comment so um, my videos go out to others. Um, and also, if you like a personal reading, that is in the link below, and it's right um, on the screen now. All right, let's get started. So I did pull three ruins. Each one is associated with something. So this is the situation, the action, and the new situation. We're starting out with the first ruin, which is right here. It, it, it is called Inguz. Now, this is the ruin of fertility. It's all about new beginnings, um, the hero, God, the ruin. That's a keen to the moon. And like I said, I made that Pisces new moon. So this is like, wow, incredible messages. But what this ruin is talking about is really listening to that intuitive part of our nature. You know, the part of us that really is in that field of knowing. So it's asking us really to go within and to harmonize our personal relationship. It This ruin wants to be desired, wants connection. So it's about us connecting with ourselves and with people that have the same similarities in us as us. So it's a ruin of completion, of beginnings, new life, a new path. And it also says to have the strength to achieve the completion from which comes a new beginning. Like when something completes, so we have to close a chapter, we have to close a door in order to bring something new. And that could be to a project, it could be to a relationship, it could be to a state of mind, into um, a way of being. And it's like, it's like the butterfly is emerging from the chrysalis and it's leaving that cocoon behind. So we're leaving something behind and it's the old that's being cleared and released. Now ask yourself, what do you need to rid yourself of? Um, is it a habit, a relationship, a behavioral pattern? Maybe it's all of them. Maybe it's none of them. Maybe it's something else. But whatever that is, that was good to the self that you were or are up until this point. So when we leave something behind, we're leaving an aspect of ourself, our behavior, our mentality. We are growing, right? It's about new fertility. So this ruin is about timing and it's about time for you now to really free yourself from all unwanted influences and seeing the humor in it all, right? And we open ourselves up to a higher will, to the higher will that's called heaven on earth. And the question is, will you heed that call? Then we come into the action state, which is Burkana. It's the ruin of growth. Look at how in this ruin is also the ruin of rebirth. So fertility, right? What's in the womb. And then we give, I mean, I did not handpick these. These came out the way they did. That's why I was like, oh, I have to upload. So then we have the card of rebirth. And it's also uh, the birch tree is what it calls it in the book of the ruins. And uh, just in case you want to see what that is, it's right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's the book of ruins. So anyways... With this, uh, this ruin, it comes out and it says it's just another form of fertility that fosters the growth both symbolically and actually. So it can be growth, again, to the idea that you have in the womb. It could be growth to a family, to relationships. It could also be that growth to oneself as you're leaving the old self behind. And now you're connecting more to your higher self and to the divine and this is where what is being called for it is in going into things deeply. That's why I say, please watch my um, new moon in Pisces um, that is happening on the 20th. And as you go in deeply, you now become aware of where you are, what needs to leave, what is leaving. And now you're in the flow of being into the new form. But first you must dispense, right? Resistance and do what you're 
being guided by your higher self here, right? You're being guided, this fertility, and what are you going to do? You're going to now go towards this. And now you're being guided in doing what? Anything that comes up. So any dark that comes into, um, you're being triggered, uh, whatever that is coming up that is still there, it's being asked for you to clear it. So again, please look up the uh, new moon and this goes hand in hand. And once you clear the old, you have made peace with, with that, with those parts of yourself and the experiences, then the motives are correct. All your motives are correct and why you're moving ahead. Then what happens is that as you've made peace, now you want something to grow. You want to, but you're coming from this place of love and honesty. What happens is that you start to blossom and you bring it to occur in you being asked to have patience. And then the third ruin, which is new situation, is this one. And it's also called the place of non-action. And this ruin is there was in the god Thor. It's called the gateway. I was like, what? Like, are you serious? So we've got fertility, we've got growth, and we've got the gateway. This one, oops, I'm so sorry. This one talks about um, that there's work still to be done inside and out as we go back to the place of what is it that we need to do? You know, the situation, the action, and then the new situation. The new situation is saying, hey, if you want to go through the gateway, there's things that you are to do um, both inside and outside. So, the gateway is just a frontier, you know, between heaven and earth. So arriving here is a recognition that you are so much more ready to experience and to illuminate all your experiences and connect deeper with the divine, with the universe, with your higher self. So Thurizaz is a ruin of non-action. The reason why it's a ruin of non-action, because before we step into anything, we need to pause. We need to look. We need to learn. We need to really look at what experiences we had so we can really understand what we are taking with us into this new direction and what we are leaving behind. It This ruin is all about um, really looking, what are you approaching, passing through without contemplating, okay? So here you're being confronted with a true reflection of what is hidden inside of yourself, what must be exposed, examined before successful action. So a deep transformation is at work and we're to pause, you're to pause, now and visualize yourself before standing on a gateway you know on a bridge a gateway you know like it's here and then you're here and you want to go through it so you're standing a hilltop a mountain whatever your imagination is and your entire life is behind you right it's already done it's past it's behind you and below you now, before you step through, you have to, we stop, we review the past, the learnings, the joys, the sadness, the sorrows, the pain, the disappointments, the victories, everything it took to bring you here, right here. So now we're observing it all, we're going to bless it all, and we're going to release it all. And for in letting go of the past and reclaiming your power, with who you were and who you are becoming and all the lessons in between, you are now ready to step through the gateway. And you may step through that gateway now. Until next time, I'm sending you so much love, so much light. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button, hit the bell. Namaste.